what scars are for. We're going to look at this song. Uh, it's more of an advanced uh, beginner or an intermediate so that you know that you need to have some knowledge of signing before you start this song. It does take some interpretation, knowing that you do not sign every word because it's a concept language. It can almost be a whole sentence in one sign. And I don't want to say one word because it really is a complete thought. So when you're signing this song, just remember that you are signing thoughts, not words. These scars, and you're just going to be pointing to whatever is out here. These and then scars is finger spelled because there's not a real sign for it. One of the things that you can do before the song starts is that you can finger spell, and there's the word for finger spell. You can finger spell the word scar and then use emotion so that they understand that that is what you're going to be signing for scars because you will not have time to finger spell that word all the way through the song. Not, and the word is aren't, but because it's all incorporated in the thought, the word not off of your chin, bring it straight out, not. Pretty or beautiful, and that is the circling of the face. It's like, oh, do you see that? Sometimes you'll see me do the whoa sign so that it's, it's really emphasized and it's beautiful. But of course, the scars are not. But, and this one is important because you're going to negate what was said before it with what you're going to say about it. Crossing your fingers dominant on top of the non-dominant and bring them out so that it looks like it's going to go in the opposite direction. But they, and you can either do they or you can do scars because again, you're talking about scars. So you may want to do scars part and it is like you're going to cut a pie. You only want part of it. So you take and cut it. Your pinky finger becomes the knife blade across your palm. Me, and that's where you're just going to point to yourself. Me or I. Now, if it's possessive, it's my, and it's like I'm bringing objects toward myself. It's just like the word he talking about Jesus or God, but when it's his, open hand pushing it up toward God. Fade. Your thumb is on your pinky finger and it's like it goes across to your pointer finger and then out because it becomes whatever you have in your hand becomes nothing. Fade. And the whole concept of fade away is in there. When it says these marks, and of course, again, we're talking about scars. So these marks tell. Now tell is more of a command. And so it's like the words coming up out of your throat and out toward the person that you're talking to. Tell, where the word say is more of an easier term and it's words that are rolling off of your lips. Say. And story, it's like you've got a hold of a word and you're going to bring it out. A story, and so it comes out, pulling the thought out. Of, and that's a word that you have to just finger spell, O-F. Of, down, and you're just going to point down because that's exactly the direction you're going to be going. Down, in, and your non-dominant hand becomes a cup, pinch dominant hand, put it in the cup, 
in the valley. You're coming from a level plane down into a valley. It's very descriptive. Valley. How? Fingertip to fingertip. Roll it down. Hands are in a bent position. How? Uh, you, and again, up toward God, you, because this is who we're talking to, you and your going up. Reached, your dominant hand, center finger, is going to reach your non-dominant hand, the back of it. Reached. With both hands in an A position, and they are with one another. With. Grace, get a hold of what God has given, and it showered on man. Grace. Healed. You're going to get a hold of everything. It's like, whoa, I'm strong again. Healed. And just bring it out. Healed. Remind coming from the knowledge area because it's something you already know and it's laid out in front of you so that you can actually see it. Remind. Faithfulness, again, that comes from the knowledge. Both hands in the F position bring the dominant hand on top of the non-dominant hand, but it happens again and again. Faithfulness, so it happens several times. All, your non-dominant hand, palm up, your dominant hand goes around and scrapes everything up and lays it into the non-dominant hand. All. Brought, it's over here. I'm going to bring it over to the other side. Brought. Through, your dominant hand, palm up, goes through the non-dominant fingers. Through. Teach. You're going to take the information that you have and you're giving it away. Teach. Brokenness, get a hold of whatever it is and break it. Your brokenness, and that can be person or whatever else, but whatever is whole is broken. Something, again, part, and then Think of the things that are laid out in front of you. Something. Use. The word is in a the U position and it's a small circle. Use. Show. You've got it up here. Do you see this? You point to the palm of your hand. Show. Where? Is it here? Is it there? Where is it? Where? Uh, and it comes out and says, where I've been through. Where is the past? And you're going to just throw it behind you. Past. That's the past. That's the future. Right here is now. Where I've been through. There. And it's just over there there and any more in this sentence just means now so i'm not there anymore or now so just bring it straight down again with your with your bent hands it's not the this one but just now come straight down what from your thumb to the bottom of your non-dominant hand, it is a strike of the pointer finger. What? Erase, and that you're just like you're taking a pencil and you're erasing something. Four, and I think of the forehead, it's the easiest way to think of it. Four, and then flip it out. Four. Rewind. Now, in this song, it just means again, to do it again. If you're doing something again and again and again. So, when it says rewind, it just means to do it again. Wish. And 
there you're thinking about just bring it. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish. And so wish being something that you're hungry for. Wish. Every. Now, your dominant thumb is going to strike down on your non-dominant thumb at least twice. Every. If you only bring it once, it's each. So at least twice for every. And then time, point to your, where your watch would normally be. Time, every time, hurt, oh, it's like two pins going in. Oh, you're hurting, hurting and pain, same thing. Uh, and the word so deep in this song means great. So I'm hurting, oh, so deep. And it, it will say um, the pain cuts so deep, but the pain is extremely great. Uh, power. You get a hold of it and you bring it down with power. It's like you're grabbing something and putting it down with power so that you they, they see that you have the power. In, and I think we've talked about it, your dominant hand is in a pinched position. It goes into the cup formed by your non-dominant hand. Carry. The, uh, in. Carry on just means to continue. Dominant thumb on top of the non-dominant thumb and push it out. If you carry on, you're going to just continue. And we've talked about say, meaning that the words are rolling off your lips. Say. Leave. It's there. And I'm going to pull back. I'm going to leave. I'm leaving that position and pulling away. See? And it's your two hands. It's like you've got two eyes, but you're going to bring it from the side of your face. See. On. Your dominant hand is on top of the back of your non-dominant hand. On. Cross. Think of the C in your hand and bring it down in the form of the cross. Cross. Nails. And that's where you're going to take your dominant hand is going to form the head of the nail and your pointer finger on the other forms that shaft of the nail. Nails. Took. It's out there, and you grab it and bring it in. Took. Uh, 